Alright, so home welcome to Gary's Mod. It's time for the next wire tutorial. So this one is going to be about constant values, which are useful things. Whoops, that's the wrong category. So go to input and output and click on constant value. So a lot of the times you will want a number and like say you have uh let's see, what's the first thing? Um well well, let's say you have a code, for example. Okay, and then this code, you, you, you say like, oh, the combination for this code should be like this. 51,234, because that's, you know, that's kind of a hard code to guess. So that should be your code. Um, so anyway, you, 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 want to, you say, I want to have this as a code. But then you're like, but how do I actually get this? Because, you know, a lot of things don't have numbers for, for you to enter into it. They just have, you know, things. Um, they, they, they have inputs, and they expect you to put things into the inputs, but they don't actually give you a way to do it. This is one of the ways to do it. You know, uh, obviously, you can't change this value because it is a constant value, but you can add... You can, like, change it afterwards. Like, you put it down, then you're like, oh, whoops, I actually meant 50... or 5,123. Then you just click again, and you get 5,123. Um, there are... you can have many of these. You can have 20, you can, yeah, I mean, there's a lot. You can, yeah, 20. But, but, you can also change what type they are. So, for example, if you ch type changes to string, then if you type, like, well, caps lock, man. Alright, and then if you type, if you can type, um, hello world, well, first you'll see I have 20 things. Secondly, you'll see that the top one says hello world, and in, pr in the uh, square brackets it says string. That just means that it is letters and not a number. Um, and you can put anything into a string, but you can't put, like, letters into a number. Um, obviously, because it's a number. And then these other two I would talk about, except, you know, um, well, they're a little bit more complicated. Um, suffice it to say, this, however. Um, angles and vectors, they both contain three values. Um, so, for example, a vector, you type, like, 37 to this. Yep. Okay. And then you put this down somewhere. And then, if you, for example, wanna, wanted to actually get the values of the numbers, we're going to use our amazing screens... Whoops, that's detection, not visuals. Um, we we're going to use our amazing screens knowledge that we had from, like, probably like last time, I don't actually know when I did it, so you know, whatever, but there you go, we've, we've got ourselves some screens, gonna open up our tools menu, wire A to, right, of course, um, yeah, I forgot that you can't, because it's a vector, so you have to wire, like, a vector thing to it, um, let's see, what's the first vector thing I can think of, hmm, oh, a vector thruster, of course, all right, and by vector thing, I mean something that accepts a vector as an input. Um, so if you put down a vector thruster, you have to understand how this... God damn it. I hate vector thrusters. You click twice. Anyway, um, so if you put down a vector thruster, you barely really have to understand how this works. But say you put this here, and then you look here. <laughs> you see the vector says... Ooh, that's fancy. Um, you see the, the vector says that it is going in, you know, the same direction that I told it to. Which, you know, you would hope, because I told it to. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how the constant values work. 